Welcome everyone, my name is Chris Duncan. I'm the trade show and event specialist for Balif Incorporated. Today I'm joined by Wolfgang Kratzenberg, our technical sales specialist for traceability and RFID at Balif Incorporated. And today we're gonna to be going over a product that was just released last year. And we're gonna be using one of our trade show demos to do that. So Wolfgang, can you tell us what is this here? Yeah, it's called Easy Tool ID 2.0. And the concept uh, essentially is to simply transfer the data from the presetter to the CNC. And, you, and that, that process is automated. Okay. And the, the manual process is, uh, uh, that this system replaces is essentially taking down uh, handwritten information about the med tool measurements, walking over to the CNC, punching all that data in. Well, as you can imagine, there's a lot of mistakes that can happen along the way there. So uh, this makes it a, a much more efficient uh, process and eliminates a lot of errors. Okay. And so this is a tool management system. So what in what is a tool management system? Yeah. Uh, essentially, it's um, you know, a, a way to, again, make sure that all the tool data is managed in one place. So in this case, there's, a, there's an RFID tag that's buried in the side of the tool here, um, loaded in the side of the tool. This is an RFID reader. So what would happen is this, this tool would come out of the presetter. There would be a tool on the top of this. And that tool, all the measurements would be taken in the presetter. And that, that's a critical component of this entire thing is the presetter, right? Mm -hmm. And the presetter, generally speaking, is just a, a measurement tool that can do some very high-end measurements of the tool that's in here. So all those measurements are taken. They're written to the tag. We, inse instead of writing that information down on a piece of paper, it's written to the tag. We walk the tool over. We set it into the nest at the machine. The RFID tag is read and that information is automatically transferred into the CNC machine, right into the register there. Okay. In addition, there's a, a data map that exists that is preset. So that's one of the things about Easy Tool ID 2.0. Lots of people do Tool ID out there, and some of these guys make their own data map. They organize the data in a way that's specific to their organization. It's already done for you in here. That's why it's called Easy Tool ID 2.0. So again, you come over to the machine, you drop it in the nest, you hit load tool data, it loads it in there, and we're good to go. No button pushing, no anything. Okay, so you, you talked a little bit about button pushing errors with that. So what are some of the problems that this system is addressing? Yeah, it's, it's overall efficiency. Um, and and that, that involves the error proofing, that involves the time that it takes to do the setup. So you think about all the problems that can occur when you're doing this manually. Um, if I have an operator that has to go over one and take the measurements, so if you don't have a presetter for that matter, you have to do them by, by touching the tool off or doing some laser measurements and whatnot. Um, so there's lots of different ways to do that, but essentially it makes the process efficient. It, it decreases the amount of time that a tool is outside a machine. In, in the machining world, if you're not cutting chips, that's downtime, mm -hmm. right? So the key is how do I qu quickly transfer that tool from the presetter where it's being measured and transfer it into the CNC where it can be in use. So Wolfgang, you mentioned one of the issues as downtime, uh, trying to make sure that we have as much uptime as possible. And if those problems go unchecked, if there's a, a lot of downtime in specifically a tool machining center, what are some of the, the problems that come from that? Yeah, the, the, the primary issue is when a machine's not running, it's losing money. So you think about the, the multi-million dollar, in some cases, uh, investment that goes into a CNC machine. If it's not running all the time, all the time that that thing is not running, we're losing money. So you're talking about the, the, the time that it's not running, the resources of the operator doing all those manual operations. This eliminates that need for that to happen. Um, and, and again, making quality products because after I put the tool in the machine and I use it, now I need to know, well, how much tool life is left on the, on the tool itself, right? Because I don't want to put a tool, let's just say I need four hours of cutting time on my end mill. Well, if it only has three hours of tool life left, I don't want to start the process with that tool if I have to stop the machine. And again, that's downtime, even if it's planned downtime. So um, saves a ton of time and resources with Easy Tool ID 2.0. All right, so this is Easy Tool ID 2.0. And so it's, it's, Tool ID is not a concept that is brand new. It's been around for a little while. And can you explain to our viewers 
why Easy Tool ID 2.0 is better or easier than a different kind of system. Sure, it's a very basic system. It's, it's what I would call entry level. And uh, you, you can be super complex. I've seen some really complex systems out there. But the concept with Easy Tool ID 2.0 is that you have a preset data map which means I don't have to come up with any, any kind of data map on my own. It's already done. All I have to do is follow what Balaf has already created, right? And simply, I'm just doing a transfer of data from the presetter, walking the tool over to the machine, dropping it in, hitting load tool, and that information is uploaded into the CNC register. So again, that's why it's easy and that's why it's entry level. Okay. Uh, do you have any closing comments on the to on on Easy Tool ID 2.0? I guess just to maybe to reiterate um, that it is truly an entry level system. We're involved with some very uh, intricate high end systems where um, you know the the tools are being uh, the the locations being identified in the tool changer. Um, the locations being identified even when the tools go back to the tool room. We're Try, again, the tool is an asset, so we're tracking it from, you know, from the machine to the tool room. Um, when it went out to be refurbished, there's lots of different ways um, for us to get involved in what we would call a tool ID application. But generally speaking, um, there's, this is the best entry-level system on the market. Okay. Well, thank you, Wolfgang. And uh, if anybody would like to learn more about Tool ID 2.0, Please uh, contact your Ballast sales representative, visit our website, contact Wolfgang, we'll have his contact information on the website. And to learn more about traceability and manufacturing, join us on our other two videos. Thank you.